Simon Santoso, who a week ago captured his second gold medal at the Southeast Asian Games on home soil in Jakarta, in Indonesia. Unseated here at the China Open. His opponents, last year's champion, Bao Chun Lai, in the final a year ago, did the now world number two. China Open title last year was his first ever Super Series title. And oh my goodness, how he's gone from strength to strength since then. Three more Super Series titles added to his list of career titles added this year. and therefore decides that he wants to start that far side of the court. Now this Simon Santosa's first ever semi-final at the China Open. This is fifth appearance here. Six-year-old Simon Santoso, currently number 11 in the World Rankings Super Series ranking, down a couple of places since last week because he missed the Hong Kong event, down at number 13. Well, there you can see his route through to the semi-final. Oh my goodness, what a tough quarter-final he had against Peter Gader. As you can see, three tough games, an hour and 13 minutes it was for that quarter-final. He backed that up after beating his teammate, number eight seed, Taufik Hidiat, in the second round. So as for Chen Long, well, his world ranking down one place since last week, down to number three. But when the seedings were done, he was still at number two, hence his number two seeding position. He's number two on the Super Series ranking as well. Well, they've only met once before, and that was earlier this year, in the second round of the Denmark Open, winning through in three games, Chen Long, 19-21, 21-16, 21-8 in the decider. Now, as far as Chen Long is concerned, played against Wing Kai, his teammate, qualifier in the first round and Christian Wittinghus of Denmark in the second round that was two straight games too but that was 50 minutes for the two games and then in the quarterfinal yesterday evening against the number five seed Chen Jin of China so he's won all of his matches as Chen Long in two straight games Simon Santoso of Indonesia gets his semi final underway.
great angle from Chen Long. Born in Xiamen in Fujian province. demonstration of the problem Simon's going to face here. He created the first opportunity to attack, but really hadn't got the penetration to get through the defence of Chen Long. And then when he was forced into the lift, the attack of Chen Long was very, very efficient. Just giving Chen Long too many attacking opportunities. Oh, it's cool, good. Good length. Quickly behind his centre smash there. Took the shuttle early, managed to get some spin on it. You will see it gets in early, takes it nice and early. See the shuttle turn in there, difficult to control. better from Simon not using the lift when he was under pressure there using the long drop recovery Chen Long just forcing the shuttle outside of the court it's got a very laid-back sort of style of play hasn't he Simon Santoso yes yeah, very much old style Indonesian isn't it Many of the Indonesian players, his movement's so fluid. Yeah. It's a pleasure to watch move around the court. But he can't be using that high, that high clear to someone like Chen Long. The attack's just too good. It's not only that Chen Long's got a lot of power, he's got a lot of precision these days as well. That's a super shot, very little preparation, but clipped very quickly down the line with a good steep angle. Simon to, for Simon to play counter-attack in this game. I think he's got to take the initiative, maybe just feeling his way into this game, but at some stage he's really got to take it on and try and take some initiative. Oh, 
has the line again, just emphasizing your point about his precision nowadays, Chen Long. Yeah, very little preparation. It's good technique, this. Yeah. Phil Simon there has got to turn it across the net, try and make Chen, Chen Long change direction, try and make him make some deep lunges into the forecourt. Cut his time down in the rear court. Some wild backhand, a little ambitious. There's a smile to himself after that one. Probably knows he shouldn't be going for that one. But just a sign of the confident form he's in at the moment, though. better forcing Chen Long to lunge into the forecourt take the shuttle a little bit later it's the old adage Jill big guys don't like slow drops they don't like those deep lunges into the front court Flatter plate, not lifting the shuttle high. Taking Chen Long's time away in the rear court. That's got to be the tactic here. Judge saying unsighted. Well, what's the umpire said? Play a let or? I think he's. I think he's given let. Of course, if the line judge is unsighted, then the umpire can make the call if he's had clear sight of how the shuttle has landed. Yeah, that's, all, that's the, almost the furthest point away from him in that back corner over there, though. If it was close, he's right to play a let. I couldn't clearly see the call. Wow. This game really yet still to get going. The crowd, I think, not really got into it yet, have they? They're waiting to support Chen Long, waiting to get go this match to take off, but it's a very cagey affair at the moment. Santoso, outside of the Southeast Asian Games, has not reached a final this year. Southeast Asian Games, of course, don't count towards world rankings. Of course, this man, Chen Long, made the headlines for all the wrong reasons at the World Championships earlier this year. He was the number five seed, and he lost in the very first round, that was the round of 64, to Kevin Corden of Guatemala. But Ian, they always say the test of a champion is how they fight back. And my goodness, since 
those World Championships, the following three tournaments were won by Chen Long. China Masters, Japan and Denmark. That's a great response, isn't it, after such an unexpected loss. Simon using the forecourt, not going to the rear court and giving Chen long time to get his attack into play. As that first game developed, Simon's gradually found the tactic, I think. Cut the time down in the rear court for Chen Long and just try and hold him and move him across the net. Make him take the shuttle late in the forecourt. <laughs> Zhang Zi there talking to Chen Long, I think, looking for a little bit more urgency from his player. Looking for him to try and keep the tempo a little bit higher. Maybe flick into the back corners a little bit more so he can press forward with his base position. Just long. I was just going to say it's better playing the flatter clear, not to give Chen long time, but obviously playing it flatter, the danger is that you lose control of the length. Angle. This is good defense and gets back up quickly. Gets into the net. We're disappointed with that. He was actually well placed. Took it early. Yeah, just missed it. Very short preparation. Caught Simon by surprise. Simon was just a little bit late on this. Wasn't expecting the power from back there. Shuttle had almost gone over Chen Long's shoulder. There's Peter Gader, beaten by Simon Santosa in that thrilling quarter final yesterday evening. out of trouble there, Chen Long. Well, we've spoken about it before. That's the aspect of his game that's improved so much this year. He's always had a big, strong attack and a good net game, but wasn't always the most agile in defence. But now he gets very low and really defends very, very well. Well, this is a run of four straight points. Nice. 
Santoso was backing off from the net, was expecting the lift. Yeah, good variety. Used a couple of flicks into the rear court there and then just held that one. Waited for Simon to move and played short. Good peripheral vision to see that Simon was moving away. Well, five points since the mid-game interval and all five points going to Chen Long. Six points. Well, if Charles was indeed asking for more urgency in the style of play of Chen Long, he certainly responded well. was that he got there early that allows you to stop the racket fix your opponent and then you've got the choice to flick to the rear court or play short to the front court perfection on the net shot from Santoso Nice touch here. Again, just a little hold and faint. from the crowd, crowd there, Jill. A lot of people shouting out, I think. Yeah, because he looked initially if, <laughs> as if he was going to play it, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Solid play, not taking any risks, giving himself a margin when he was sitting down. Here we see it, good, good angle, allows him time to get in, take advantage from the front court. Well, since the mid-game interval, he's won nine of the 11 points played. That's good, nice switch of direction. Anticipated that Chen Long wasn't going to use a clear from that defensive backhand position. Stepped in, took it early, whipped it into the opposite back corner. Yeah, looked out. Yeah, well, Simon Santoso just making the point that. His opponent was calling before the line judge had made a call. It was out. Two points from the opening game. Yeah, 
very, very clever from Chen Long. Yeah, Simon playing the cross, paying the penalty, forced to cover the full diagonal. Never got back into position. Six game point op opportunities for Chen Long. Now he finds the net with the attempted kill, Simon Santoso. And therefore, the opening game to the defending champion, Chen Long, 21-14. Well, it was very impressive, Ian, since the mid-game interval, as far as Chen Long was concerned. Yeah, so just step the step the tempo up a little bit, then to increase the intensity. It's all a little bit too comfortable for my liking, though. I think Simon, once Chen Long increased the tempo a little bit, Simon didn't really respond. He kept trying to do the same things that weren't working. Maybe a little bit jaded. Not only played the individual last week in the Sea Games, but there was also a team event as well. Played over 10 days, a lot of matches, maybe just feeling a little bit tired. Simon uses that high lift and gives Chen Long time to get behind the shuttle and get organized. He always looks under pressure. Chen Long hitting with really good angle and also power. Difficult to control the defensive shots. signs early in the second game Jill I'm afraid Simon doesn't seem to have changed his game he's not tried to go up a pace oh, that's better yeah much better change of tempo there Cross lift from under pressure, not great from Chen Long. Put himself under pressure, but Simon taking full advantage quickly in behind the angle smash. Shuttle too late there. Neat. Here, Chen Long reading the drop, getting up, taking it early. Easy kill. No, push long of that back line. Yeah. Santos has got to be awfully careful here because Chen Long opens up too much of a lead. Yeah, that's good judgment. We've seen it before this year, Joe. Once Chen Long gets a lead in a game, he can be quite awesome. He relaxes, the flow comes. 
If he finds a rhythm and you let him play in it, he's very, very difficult to play against. You've really got to stay with him in the early part of the game, try and stress him a little bit, mix the game up. that can you at this level no, it has to go down there's an unforced error he was early on the shuttle Had every chance to get it in behind chain along there put him under pressure yeah it's wide yeah definitely out we're in a good position to see that one yeah well out Super neck shot. He's good there, isn't he, Jill? Yeah. Great extension of the arm, reaching out to take the shuttle as early as he can, and then he's got good hand control on the end. The hand controls the racket head very well to put the spin on. Oof. Well, once again, trying an ambitious backhand, but. You were disappointed with that one, actually. Yeah. Took it early. I suppose you can afford that when you're game an 8 3 up. No, you can eight. go for it. You can afford to go for it at the moment, that's for sure. I don't want to make too many straight errors, though, because that's another one. A little bit off balance there. That caused him to just push it out the side of the court. rally yeah good rally we got through in the end though I was very patient during that rally made a couple of errors the two points before increased his margins made sure he kept the shuttle in and even the winning smash would have been a meter inside that's good match play that's where it's improved isn't it Jill yeah we played a couple of not poor points, but a couple of loose points, shall we say. And then was able to tighten up, put the pressure back on his opponent, play the rally out. Yeah, it's interesting how he's developed, isn't it? Because, I mean, he really burst onto the world scene in 2009 when, in the space of three months, Chen Long beat the top three players in the world. Beat the world number one, Lee Chong Wei, the first round of India, and then... In the China Games, defeated the Olympic champion Lin Dan. In the first round of the Malaysia Grand Prix, beat Taufik Hidayat of Indonesia. And then last year, I thought that he was really consolidating his having burst onto the world scene. He then had to sort of plateau out a bit. And I think now in 2011, he's actually, as you say, he's improved his match play, he's improved his defensive play, and he's, he's gone to that much higher level. Yeah, I mean, he's been building a stock of experience over the last three years. And this year, he's been able to apply it most of the time. Certainly, it's evident that the coach have done a lot of work on his agility and his defensive play. His experience around the Super Series now is good. He controls himself well. He's able to go through the rounds quite comfortably, conserves energy. 
Would you say the one surprise of the year was the World Championships, which is probably slightly different for him. He's not got a lot of experience in the championship events over a longer format. And he came up against someone he'd never seen before. Probably wasn't expecting a, a hard match first round of the World Champs and came really unstuck. Yes, lost even so he held three match points, lost 27-25 in the deciding game. Well, there was a moment where he must have felt he'd turned it around and he just seemed to relax again and to Kevin Corden's credit, he just kept going and kept going and kept going. Really played the match of his life. And that's really what Simon Suntosa needs to do here is keep going, keep going. Yeah. Really off the pace a bit in this second game. Yeah, he's just missing a bit of fire, isn't he? You just wonder how much Sea Games has taken out of him. Very emotional, winning a gold medal in his own country. He's had a good tournament here, but it looks as though he's running on nearly empty now. Really able to pose any big problems tactically or technically at the moment. What I would like to see is have him it's for him to have a real go now. Really go at it, try and take the initiative. Get one shot. quite well played with a little bit more intensity in that rally that's nice control just guided down the line a little bit of slice to control it, bring the shuttle down steeply. Just sense that Simon Santosa really does have to make his move pretty soon if he wants to come through this match. Oh, that hurts. Simon threw everything at him there twice. He must have felt he'd got through in attack, but no, Chen Long's defence was equal to it. And then with Chen Long's first attacking opportunity of the rally, He's able to finish the point with one shot. And that's quite demoralizing. smash straight down the line wasn't meant to be a winner he just used that to set himself up first the angle drop shot here's the one he's not expecting it to be a winner but he knows that the reply will have to come back straight and that's when he pounces Oh, 
That's nice. Chuck, just one or two times Chen Long's done that, isn't he? He likes that forehand cross lift from the net, and it's not a great shot, really. Cross flat lift. Any good opponent will be up and intercepting that, giving him the choice of attacking straight or cross. Difficult to defend behind that sort of shot. Oh, that's good precision again. Likes that round the head straight attack, doesn't he, Jill? Plays it very well. And as you say, he lands with very good balance and he's able to get in quickly behind it as well. Good net, and for once he manages to get through with the attack. He's not been able to get through very often. That's a super net shot. Forces the defensive lift. And good precision down to the line. Just wide. Just hesitate, I think. Know whether to go for the full blooded attack or whether to place it. I've seen a bit more of that during this game. That's a nice, nice set play there. Clip down the line and quickly in behind. And good balance. And then the change of direction. They yeah, almost seem to slice across that shuttle to make it deceptive, that final one. Yeah. I think he's got that one off Tafik. That's one of his favourites, isn't yes. it? Yes. Gone wild. as well, yeah. yeah. My goodness. Well, again, a couple of, couple of easy errors from Chen Long here. Well, he's half the eight point deficit. Both players guilty in that rally of trying to force the play across the court, leaving themselves the long diagonals to cover. himself out of trouble so well does Chen Long he's got such powerful legs that even when he's got to change direction he's late onto the shuttle See, still seems to have the poise and control That's a nice backhand. Yeah, nice touch. Didn't have time to get round the head, but reached up and intercepted it on his backhand. He's low there. Back into position. Just guides the shuttle across the court. Nice racket work. No, 
it's nice. He has the options, doesn't he, from that round, the head position. Yeah, he's beaten him a couple of times straight, and then the last couple he's gone cross. But the problems with Simon using the high clear there and giving Chen a long time to get behind it. Once he get behi gets behind it, as you say, he's got a lot of options, and it's difficult to defend against. It's a very, very good rally. Well played from Simon Santoso. Yeah, manages to get the shuttle in behind this time. Doesn't give him time in the rear court. We can see he made him late twice there. Eventually gets the mistake. Guess right the first time on the yeah. defensive play. Once he gets the attack though, doesn't let him off the hook, gets in quick behind it, flat push. Defensive lift. Uses the other side of the court to finish. Well, Chen Long immediately saying to the umpire, appealing to the umpire, saying, wasn't that a fault? Didn't he take that before shuttle across the net? You're going to see it. He read it. No, that was... That was a great shot. Fantastic. games going on here. Oh, it's overdone it. And now six opportunities to book his place in the final once again. Missed it. 21 14, 21 14, symmetry in the scoreline. And the defending champion still on course to retain his title through to the final for the second consecutive year. Oh, so he does seem to be extravagant in his celebrations at times, Chen Long. There's the final rally. The smash goes wide. Forty-four minutes and the victory for Chen Long over the unseeded Simon Santoso. 21-14, 21-14.